Well, as we went through the morning hours, had some low clouds that were just kind of stubborn, sticking around and still dealing with some clouds around the area. Mostly cloudy conditions, 37 degrees now for a temperature as we're heading into the afternoon hours. We think that we will hit the mid 40s for those highs, but obviously we do have some work to go with uh, temperatures just at 37 now in Pittsburgh. Butler area just at 33, but you'll notice that some of the warmest of the air is just down to our south. We should start to see that moving in as well. 37 in the Wheeling area, Morgantown 41, one of the cooler spots is in Franklin up in Venego County, 31 degrees just north of I-80 at this hour. So today, plenty of sunshine is what we're expecting for the afternoon. Should start to see those clouds breaking at some point. And with that, we should see those temperatures going up. Let's look ahead to the weekend. I think a lot of folks are ready for that. Let's talk about your driving conditions. On Friday, we do have some concerns, and we'll talk a little bit more about this coming up, but some icy conditions in the center part of the state will actually be possible. On Saturday, colder, soggy weather to the east. And then on Sunday, also some snow showers will be possible as we're heading into the evening hour. So at this point, it looks like Saturday really into the afternoon probably be the best chance or the best time to leave out if you do have some traveling. If not for then, maybe late on Friday should be dry. Just make sure that you kind of hold off just a little bit as we do have those concerns just off to the north. So we actually do have some winter weather advisories just north of the Dubois area. So you can see Dubois there right at 32 at about 4 a.m. And we have both rain and a mixture of sleet and rain coming down at that point. So that's why we have the big concerns there through about 10 o'clock on Friday that we could have some slick conditions basically from Dubois to the east. And that will impact parts of I-80. So if you are jumping on I-80 heading off to the east, just make sure, hey, try to do it late tonight or very early, or should say very late tomorrow morning. Just don't move around there. Uh, early into the morning could have some issues on roads. Now after that spotty showers on Friday morning, more consistent rain is expected. Notice the time 7 p.m. as we're heading into the evening hours of Friday. Here comes a cold front. This will be the first of two fronts that comes through over the weekend and you'll notice temperatures on the northern side of that front already into the 40s. Temperatures will be falling as we're heading into Saturday. We'll have another front that will come through on Sunday, and that's going to bring with it a really cold shot of air just in time for Christmas. It's going to be just in time for Santa arriving, I think, for a lot of folks, where we'll start to see the temperatures falling. So there's the next three days. Look at the temperatures sliding. By the end of Sunday, we're down to 26. And that temperature of 26, we're expecting that also to likely be the uh, high temperature on Christmas Day. We will have a chance for some snow showers, maybe even some accumulation happening overnight into the early morning hours of Monday. We'll watch closely for that. Here's your seven day outlook. You can see cooler weather certainly set to arrive on Monday and kind of sticking around also for most of next week. Temperatures though not too bad on Tuesday, 30s now and 40s for highs on Wednesday. Yeah, but if that little prediction comes true that we might have a little on the ground yeah. on Christmas morning, make a lot of people happy. I know, I know. Yeah. A lot of folks are watching closely for that. Uh, we can't guarantee it just yeah. yet, but we're going to be watching closely for it. At least we got a shot. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you, Ron. <laughs>